The final model in the GPD trilogy of handheld gaming PCs is with us for review. Let's find out how the GPD WinMax 2 2024 compares with the 2023 model as well as the Win4 and Win Mini 2024 models. First inside the box we have the GPD WinMax 2 2024 itself. We will take a closer look at it shortly. Underneath is a user manual which is in English and Chinese. Next we have a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. And last but not least is a USB Type-C cable for charging. The WinMax 224 measures 8.9 by 6.2 by 0.9 inches and weighs 1005 grams. The display is a 10.1 inch touchscreen with a default 1200p resolution, supporting up to 1600p. It's a great size screen for both work and gaming with. The lower half of the device contains a decent sized backlit keyboard that is great for typing on. I wrote this review with it and had no issues at all. The keys are quite low profile and require little effort to press. Above the keys are the removable covers which slide into the back of the device. Underneath are your standard gaming controls with hall sensor analogues, d-pad and gaming buttons. In the middle is a precision touchpad and on the hinge is a built-in camera for video conferencing. On the left side are micro and full sized SD card slots. And on the right are two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. The front has a power button with a built in fingerprint sensor for fast and secure looking into windows. The back has trigger and shoulder buttons and there are USB 4 and USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Next there is a full size HDMI port for output to a display and an Oculin port for connection to an eGPU docking station such as the GPD G1 2024. And last but not least there is a 3.5mm headphone port. On the bottom are two additional macro buttons that can be configured in the supplied software. On either side are removable covers, one for an M.2 2230 SSD expansion and the other for an optional 4G LTE module. The GPD WinMax 2 2024 features the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U, which we have seen in a few products now. It is the latest AMD mobile processor, and we have seen fairly good improvements over the previous generation. There are options of 32 or 64 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM, and options of 2 or 4 terabytes M.2 NVMe storage. For communications, there's Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Powering it all is a 67 watt hour light polymer battery. In our tests, whilst running Cinebench on a loop, we got 1 hour 52 minutes battery life. On average usage, you will get the usual 6 to 8 hours. In our fan noise and temperature tests, we got a highest fan noise of 60 decibels, and highest temperature of 43 degrees C on the keyboard area, and 63 degrees C on the exhaust grill. We will now perform some system benchmarks and use the results to compare against the 2023 model as well as other devices with the 8840U CPU. We start with PC Mark, which performs a series of your more day-to-day -day usage of a PC. This includes web browsing through to image and video editing. We got a score of 7085, which takes the lead over the Win424 model. It is also a considerable improvement over last year's WinMax 2 model, which is good to see. Cinebench tests a single and multi-core performance of the processor. We got single and multi-core scores of 1768 and 12997 respectively. Again, it takes the lead in single core, but falls just shy of the Win424 in multi-core performance. There is a good improvement over the 23 model. 3 d Mark tests the CPU and GPU working together for graphics related performance such as gaming and video encoding. In Time Spy, Night Trade and Fire Strike, we got scores of 3114, 27221 and 7307. Not much difference to last year's model, although the Win4 2024 is not much higher apart from on Night Trade. Now on to some gaming benchmarks. We are running Forza Horizon 5 benchmark on the lowest graphic settings. At 1080p 28 watts we see a few frames difference in performance compared to the Win4 24 and a decent improvement over the 23 model by 30 fps. At 720p we do see near identical fps, but there's a noticeable performance drop when compared to other models as we go down the TDPs. 
on Shadow of the Tomb Raider we are running on the lowest graphic settings. At 1080p we again see similar scores to the other 8840U models. And at 720p we initially see similar scores again for 28 watts and 20 watts TDP. As we go lower we do see a drop in comparative performance though. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 we are running on the minimal graphic settings with no FSR enabled. At 1080p we get very good scores, not far off those of the Win424. And at 720p we see an overall lower comparative performance until 5 watts TDP. We are running Street Fighter 6 on the highest graphic settings to push the hardware. We see a mix of ups and downs on both 1080p and 720p performance. But do keep in mind this is generally 1 or 2 frames per second so it's not a massive difference. As the WinMax 2 2024 has an Oculin port we are able to compare the performance of the Win4 2024 with the GPD G1 2024 eGPU docking station. We see similar scores comparing the WinMax 224 and Win4 2024 models respectively. Minor variations which if you rerun the benchmark would have differing scores. The same with Forza Horizon 5, we see similar scores to the Win424, freeing up the 780M GPU really helps to get the best out of the CPU. At 1080p we got similar frames per second, there is a slight drop at 720p though. For Call of Duty we get identical scores for the Max 2 and Win4 models. The game is dependent on GPU power rather than CPU, so we essentially have the same scores. We will now show a few games and the best settings on screen for 60 FPS or above when possible. The 8840 CPU has some improvements over last year's model. You may be able to run older consoles at lower TDP than before, and for newer systems you will have a smoother experience than before. Let's check out a few consoles from older to new.
The GBD WinMax 224 was the final of the GBD models to be released and overall it is a good improvement over last year's model. We do see improved performance when comparing the 7840U and 8840U processors. Like the other models, perhaps not enough to warrant upgrading if you have the previous generation model. But if you are looking for a device that is ideal for working gaming, the WinMax 2 2024 is an excellent option. Gaming on the WinMax 2 series has always been a talking point. It's not a handheld you can freely hold, you will be resting it on your lap or on the table for example, or maybe using an external controller instead. But it is quite comfortable and easy to game on as well as do work with. If perhaps you are more of a gamer than using it for work, it might be worth considering the Win Mini instead. The 10.1 inch screen is great to work with and even better to game on. You will be playing the more demanding games at 1080p or even 720p, but for work you can happily crank up the resolution to 1600p and enjoy the full benefits of higher resolutions and larger screen size than the Win Mini 4 and Mini models. You can learn more about the GBD WinMax 2 2024 and order yours today from droix.co.uk or droix.net for worldwide shipping. Use the discount code WM2245OFF on the checkout for 5% off. The code expires one month for this review being posted and cannot be used during store sales or other promotions. Please take a moment to subscribe if you have not already. It helps to grow this channel and we can keep making videos. That wraps up our GPD WinMax 2 2024 review. We hope you have found it useful. See you in the next video.